going to record on this computer. Okay, we're making a video about how to add meta courses um, to uh, your 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 uh, fall lineup if you want to combine courses because they're all similar courses um, that just have different section numbers. Um, ben, if you don't mind going back to your main page again so we can show folks how to get to this. There you go. Okay, so this is his main landing page for one of his courses. He has four sections of RC 2001, and we've chosen one of them that we're going to add MetaLinks into. Um, the first thing that you need to do is add all of the students who are in that particular sort of native section to a group. So, Ben, if you don't mind going over to participants and that gear wheel on the bottom on the right, and then you're going to click groups. Good. And scroll down for me. And you are going to create a group for that original section. All right, good. And why don't we just call this uh, section uh, 135. Okay, and scroll down. And you're going to click Save Changes. Good. Okay, so now if you scroll down a tiny bit and you can see where you can add and remove users, right there on the right, there you go, it's going to bring up a list of all of the students that are in that original section of his um, RC2001. And you're going to click on that first student, Ashley Brem, and you're going to scroll all the way down. Do you have any uh, a scroll tool on there? Don't. That might be 23. Um, and it's okay. Click the first one and then shift click the, the last one, Me Megan McCullough, and then we'll check and see shift click. There you go. And you're going to add those to that section 135 group. All right, now we have four more that we need to add. So let's go ahead and add those as well. Click on the top and then shift click on him. There you go. All right, and then scroll down and click back to groups. So you can see now that you have a group set up for the original students in section 135's course shell. And you can see that they're in there when you scroll along the, the set of students there on the right hand side. There you go, okay. And scroll down a little bit further on the page, not just that, um, there you go. All right, so you can, now we can scroll back up and um, so, uh, back, back click to the original course landing page. There you go, and your breadcrumbs, good. Um, and then click participants again. Now we're gonna add the meta sections into his original sections. And before we do that though, let's take a look at this participants list and you'll notice that um, all of the students were, that were in this original section of 135 have been added. Uh, to his listing and now they not, now all have a group um, and that is section the section 135 group under that groups column okay all right now let's scroll back up and add our next sections enroll users I'm sorry um, go back over to your gear wheel next to participants yes and then enrollment methods now we're going to add the meta links and you're going to scroll down to the add method and click choose and choose a course meta link and it should offer you all of your other sections when you click in this search box. And you want to, we can start with that section 138 and click add method. Oh, actually, hold on, hold on. <laughs> let's, let's, it's okay, it's all right. Let's cancel out of this, that cancel next to the add method. Uh, what I forgot to do was tell you to add them to a group. So let's delete that meta link. And how you do that is you go over to the right of where you've just added that meta link um, under that edit, edit column on the far right. See the trash can at the bottom of that? Click delete. Okay. Yep. And say yes. We want to continue to do that. And good. Now let's do that again. Um, let's click. Uh, add a method and we're going to enroll them again, the meta link. Good. And we're going to click on the search button again. 
There you go. And we're going to add that 138, but this time before we add the method, go ahead and click on that. Click outside of it. Good. All right. Now we're going to add them to a group. So where it says none, we're going to click on that and we're going to say create a new group. And it will automatically create the, a group for this new 138 section and click add method. Now let's go back to your participants list and see what that looks like. And so click over on the far left on the participants list and scroll down so we can see what that looks like. So you can see that there are some students in section 135 on your participants list and some students in section 138. And you can always go back in there and edit the name of that group for 138 to shorten it if you would like to. Um, but that's what that looks like just to make sure that that worked. All right, so now we've got two more groups to add. Uh, we'll go back and do that, but for now we're going to say ta-ta, and uh, you can continue to work on your own Metalinks, and thank you for listening. Let me stop recording.